Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Talk We Talk with Melody and today I have a very wonderful guest with me here, his name is Santiago Legare. I hope I pronounced that well because today we are having an international guest on Talk We Talk with Melody. Yay, we can celebrate that. So we are going to know who Santiago is because he is with us and as you know, if I bring to you a guest, he must be something, right? Remember to like, subscribe, share, and because I'll share more about him and his contacts on the link, make sure you can find it on the description. So welcome so much, Santiago, on this podcast. Tell me, how are you? How do you feel? Yeah. Well, I'm very grateful, okay. Melody, for this opportunity. Uh -huh. Very happy to be in your podcast. And hello, everyone. I'm ready to go. Wow. So tell us, tell us something about you. Who is Santiago Legado? Can I tell the world first how we met? <laughs> yeah, please, kindly. He's so excited to tell all of you about it. So let it roll. You know, I <laughs> went, as you know, I yeah. went for a, a run down mm. the road mm. and I saw a nice place where I thought I might jog a bit. <laughs> so I asked to find for information and it was this wonderful lady here who mm. actually answered my first questions and mm. then one thing took it to another and she told me about her podcast sent her sent me her the link and i watched it and loved it and then i said perhaps we could do something together mm -hmm. and here we are mm -hmm. so when you meet somebody at least try and be nice to them and that is how i met my uh, my guest today uh he's very kind so we want to know about something about him that i really made me to bring him on this podcast is about the many things he can handle i mean what kind of human being has a lot of achievements like that you know so i was like because you have done all this we need you on talk the talk to encourage to motivate somebody who could be watching on the screen and could be desiring to reach such a level so congratulations on your achievement and so my 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 main point of reference in this discussion will be so because he hasn't introduced himself i'll hit i'll be hinting you so he's a lecturer in strathmore a law in law school so tell us about that so introduce yourself let us know you better yes yeah, sorry for being a bit slippery <laughs> i digress okay well i hail from buenos aires argentina mm. Mm. and in 2012 i started teaching a law in Strathmore, as you said, mm -hmm. uh, one month every year, more or less, one month and a half. Mm -hmm. So this year it's been 12 years that I've been doing it. Mm -hmm. The first 10 years at Strathmore Law School, the last two years at Strathmore mm -hmm. Business School. Mm -hmm. And it's been a wonderful journey that complements my main job and my main position in Argentina. That's where I spent most of the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Professor Santiago has, be, has been teaching here for 12, for 12 years now. And perhaps you could tell us, how was it, you know, the first time you came to Kenya and now you're seated in a class teaching Kenyan students. What, how was it? How was the experience like? What difference did you, what difference struck you when you were teaching Kenyan students? Shy is the first word that comes to mind. Kenyans. Kenyans in the classroom. Oh. <laughs> you're not shy, but you know, maybe it's because of this notion of authority uh, yeah. that it takes a while mm. to break it mm -hmm. and without losing the respect mm -hmm. due to the authority to, to get farther from shyness. Mm -hmm. Then you can get a very nice friendship as friendship goes between a teacher and a student. Mm -hmm. So shy is the first thing that struck me. Mm -hmm. The silence, mm -hmm. the silence. Difficult, difficult to to manage for me. All right. Secondly, mm -hmm. ambition. Mm -hmm. When I would talk one to one mm -hmm. to these students, they all said, "I want to go to Harvard. I want to go to Cornell." And they were eighteen-year-old <laughs> kids. Wow. Mm. Wow. Was and that you know what? They went. They amazing. made it because this was years ago. Amazing. Now they made it. Amazing, amazing. Wow, well, congratulations to law students in Strathmore. You're setting the pace. We love that. We love that. So, um, 
what is teaching for you now that you've been doing it for 12 years i mean we have professors who are like ah i'm done now let me just rest yeah. let me do something but you're doing it even now yeah what yeah. does it mean i mean what is your main motivation behind teaching people yeah i my main motivation is um, to be happy myself it makes you happy it makes me happy to be happy myself by doing something that is of service mm. to others wow. that's my main motivation wow and I, I don't see it as a nine to five kind of thing. That, or a burden. No, no, no. It is a burden, but a sweet burden. So I conceive it as a 24 seven kind of work. In fact, what day is today? It is Sunday and we're here with you yeah. working in this, which is like part of my teaching life. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Well, amazing, amazing how we have professors who are really motivated to teach and could say teaching is my life all right you never give teaching. it up mm -hmm. <laughs> okay even if i try mm -hmm. i will still you need to be careful because i might be lecturing anyway <laughs> we already feeling it we, are, we apologize today's viewers we have a professor on set so just have your notebook and just relax okay so another question would uh, would come like this so as I was watching your YouTube channel, he has a YouTube channel, uh, Santiago Artistico. I, did I get it right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, where he posts a lot about how his art life and everything. And, May I? All yeah. right, yeah. I didn't actually. It was one of my students who did it for me. I wouldn't even know how to do it, but please proceed. Hey! Hey, bro, must have loved this lecturer, okay. So there's a video there where he has incorporated art in his teaching model, whereby he actually motivates his students to come with a concept that is artistic. So tell us more about it, because we have lecturers uh, in Kenya, most university, as we all know, most students could say that the lessons or the classes they attend are more of theoretical. Yes. A lecturer would come and three hours would be dictating the notes and when three hours are gone, they walk out of the door. But you took an extra, you know, that's something that is so monumental. And when I saw it, I was like, I should have you in this set. And you explain to us, how did that come about? When thank did you just you. see Thank you, thank you, yes. thank you. I started the art project in Argentina, mm. but it really flourished in Kenya. Better so, than in... <laughs> better, better. So you, I said shy, ambitious, and third, artistic. Okay. Imagine in law school, mm. a very technical, Kind of school i have so many artist students so i thought i need to be something for them i need to do something mm -hmm. for them so i came with this idea of offering them the opportunity at least once mm -hmm. during the unit wow. to draw some legal concept in a poster yeah. draw it or do some kind of plastic achievement mm -hmm. or a low relief bas relief mm -hmm. or an acrylic or Aquarel, mm. aquatint, whatever. To just bring out the concept. Yeah, yeah. Okay. With the idea that many of my students are visual learners, so they mm. learn better when they see mm. something, when they can show. So I, I, I organize contests mm. of art, mm. and everyone brings their own poster. Mm -hmm. Some tease me that we're going back to primary school. <laughs> then we display them in a place called the Shoe Shiner's Lawn. Mm in phase one, mm. one of the buildings in Strathmore, oh. this is on the lawn, beautiful mm. grass. Mm. And then with some of my teaching assistants, we choose the best ones. Wow. And um, until we get to the best three and there is a ceremony, there are prizes, awards, and then there are songs to honor the victors. Hey. It's beautiful, <laughs> they love it. Age, 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 age. So what's that one thing that you appreciate about your students? You told us they are ambitious, yeah, artistic, but what is that one thing that uh, you love about your students as we bring this to... Well, what I like the most is what I get when they are no longer my students and I sometimes get to meet their families the parents like now right now i come from lunch okay. from the house of one of my students and the mother was there the brother was there even my niece olivia who is now in kenya for an internship at a law firm she came and you could think what are you talking about you were a lecturer of this person <laughs> and no. now she, she's opened your house for you and for your niece 
And what if I tell you that this is like the seventh time that I've been to this house throughout the years? Lord. So I guess that's what I like the most, the, the devotion, the gratitude, the friendship that I get from at least a significant number of those who benefited from my teaching. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Wow. So can you can you just sum it up and tell us that maybe Kenya was the best experience you can ever have? Oh, Kenya was, like spread, I mean. <laughs> Kenya was for sure uh -huh. the best because uh -huh. mm. once this shyness uh, mm. seeds, mm. then people really open their heart, their life, mm -hmm. their house mm -hmm. in a way that you don't see anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell us something about these amazing uh, publications that I'm holding. Yeah, this is one of his books. Uh, yeah, and this is The Suara. It's a magazine that he has written uh, several articles for. Yeah, so Santiago, what motivates you to write such? I mean, well, I was starting with this one and with that other one that you have here. Oh, yeah. No, this one. Okay. Starting with these two. Mm -hmm. What motivated me to write these two books mm. is uh, probably that I wanted to remember all I was experiencing. Wow. So I decided to write it for me. Yeah. Yeah, which is why, I'm <laughs> sorry to say, Melody, <laughs> they are in Spanish. Um, <laughs> they are, you could say, in a way, like my memories, like my oh. diaries. And whenever I'm a bit sad, I go back here and I read this again. To how sweet it was yeah, when you were yeah, yeah. somewhere. Look, this one has even some pictures. I forgot if I showed you, but we can show your the folks audience. here. That yeah. These are, for example, some pictures of my students in Strathmore. And because this is, for the most part, the story of my relationship with my students in oh, Strathmore. Amazing. And Suara mm -hmm. is more a result of my collaboration with Suara is more a result of my love for the wildlife, mm -hmm. which is something that attracts me enormously to your country. Mm -hmm. I have passion mm -hmm. for the wildlife, and I think Kenya is the best place in the world to see the wildlife. We can celebrate that. Indeed. <laughs> and I, like I became friends with you, I became friends with the editor-in-chief mm -hmm. of Suara by mm -hmm. complete chance. Mm -hmm. It was very random. Mm -hmm. And we hit it off, and he has published around 15 or 20 of my articles on the wildlife. Mm -hmm. Wow, thank you so much. So These are in English, by the way. Oh, just what I'm on, just what I'm on. You know, I read the book and I was like, I can't understand anything. It's in Spanish, <laughs> but I was like, it's fine. We love your life here in Kenya. We really thank appreciate you. 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 I mean, thank I do appreciate you. I thank God we met. So as we approach the end of the year, we are in the other half. So what is your biggest lesson this year that we'd love to tell the young people who are watching? Wow, that's a good question. I mean, it's 2023. Yeah. The fuel price is hiking. Life okay. is harder. Okay. I'll share with you a lesson that I was given mm. by a 22-year-old Kenyan lady mm. whom I taught four years ago. Okay. And it's graduating next week. Mm -hmm. Her name is Elvira. Mm. And she gave me a great lesson. I will make it my lesson for the first semester. Mm. And that is, don't go back. Mm -hmm. Don't go back in your footsteps. Mm -hmm. If you are going in some direction and you feel that you want to go back, don't go back. At all. She was saying, she was saying, maybe not, maybe I wouldn't say not at all, but in general, don't, don't go, go back. back. Uh, she was saying that she had a classmate mm. who had to repeat uh, one year um, and she was saying to me how for a person when they have to repeat a year in mm. high school or in uni mm. it is uh, way more difficult if you do it in the same school where you were it because is. You're seeing, you understand what I mean? Yeah, it is. So that's what she meant, and this applied to my life mm. uh, by don't go back, no? Don't go back. Don't repeat. Don't repeat. Yes. Just make it alive. Yeah. Move on, move, <laughs> move on. Move on. Move on. <laughs> All right. If you have to repeat, do it in a different school. In a different way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the idea. That's the metaphor ah, of Elvira's. Ah, yeah. Amazing, mm. amazing. It was so nice to have Santiago Legari, was it? Let me know in the comment section what you have to say about this conversation and if we can have Santiago back because he has actually shared something that he loves our country and the wildlife that we do have. 
I've been your host, Melody, and this session. Mwenye ame to shoot hapo anaitwa James Kinuthia. I'll share his contact if you can link him up with your next project. Thank you so much and that was all folks. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Melody. Thank you. Okay. Amazing. That's good. Thank you so much.